Hey guys, so I wanted to jump on here before I get into today's video. Um, we do talk about some sensitive topics today. Um, I'm finally opening up about my past and my struggles. I've talked about it on TikTok and I received an overwhelming um, amount of support and DMs of asking um, a little bit more detail um, about my past and what I went through. So I feel like today is the perfect time to do it. Um, it's been a long week for us. It's been kind of rough, a um, lot of personal stuff going on. So we just feel like this is the best, um, this is kind of like how our moods are. So this is the best time to just sit down and chat and go more in depth about my past and what um, I went through. Happy and young, the fool of fun. The Herberts are here for everyone. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to our channel. I am Abby Herbert. Josh Herbert. And we are the Herberts. That's pretty good. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys saw the title of this video. I have been very vocal and honest and open about this journey on TikTok. I've made a couple videos about it. I get constant DMs, um, a lot of support on the videos. So I thought it would be best to kind of go more in depth here on YouTube. We know when baby's here, it's going to be a lot of baby content. And, you know, it's just been, a, honestly, it's just been a week for us. It has been a tough week. We had issues with Nate. Um, I've had some issues going on, um, but we'll talk about that once we talk to our doctor and make sure everything is okay. Um, but it's just been a week, so we just thought, why not just sit down and talk and be open? Because that's kind of how we're feeling, right? Yeah. We're going to do uh, some more vlogs and stuff yeah. as things start opening up um, around us, which things are slowly. slowly. But... Make sure you guys are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. It just helps us out to be able to give you guys more content mm -hmm. and uh, keep this train rolling. Yeah, so I think this is going to be my story. Um, Josh opened up about his past and his struggles and this is my time. I'm going to just sit down, be honest and tell you guys what I've gone through and how I got here into this point. So let's just go. Okay. So some of you might not know, but I um, am a model. I started my career as a model. Um, I got signed when I was 15 years old and it was more of a hobby then. I was still in high school, still doing normal things. And then as soon as I graduated high school at 17, I got contacted by a big agency in New York to come out and meet them. So the next weekend, my friend and I went up to New York on the bus and we met this agent and he was like, you're amazing. I'm signing you. You're great. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. But you need to lose some weight. I'm like, what? Like, he's like, just use, lose a couple inches on your thighs. Jeez. I'm like, okay, I'm a double zero, but I'll try. He's like, they're too athletic. I'm like, okay, I played basketball, softball, but, but I mean, I was still literally like this big. Mm. But at this time, 17 years old, we just graduated high school. All of my friends were going up to colleges, different colleges, big, big party colleges. I was going up every weekend to see my friends. And that is when the partying really started for me. Um, to be honest, we drank in high school, uh, but no, I started too young. You know, it was drinking Friday, drinking Saturday, drinking Sunday, but then eating nonstop, you know, alcohol. You're caught up in that party scene. Just caught up in the party scene. I never learned how to properly drink. Um, it was drinking then blacking out. Drinking as much as I could till I blacked out. And then it was, I thought, I was like, oh, it's so fun. Like what happened? But like, it's not, not fun. fun. It's no. so stupid. It's so stupid. So that was on the weekends. And then I was working, doing modeling. So I was like living two lives. I was like living this party college life, but then also trying to be a professional model. And over time, the alcohol, the food caught up to me and I gained weight. Was I probably my normal healthy weight for my height? Yes. But I didn't gain that weight healthy. Does that make sense? Yeah. When I went up to New York one time, I did a test shoot and my agents were like, we can't use any of these images. You're too fat. You need to lose weight. What are you doing? And I'm like, okay, okay, like whatever. And then that's when like starving myself kind of started when I was like, okay, I'm not going to eat all week so I can drink on the weekends. I still didn't want to give up the alcohol because I was like, oh, that's not, that's not the issue. It's just the eating. But mainly it was the alcohol because I was consuming 
bottles and bottles of alcohol every weekend, blacking out. By summertime, uh, my agents were just like, this isn't working out, we're dropping you, you're too fat. And I was like, oh crap, oh crap. Cause I was like, I hit one point where I was like, you know what, I'm ready, I'm gonna model. I'm gonna get healthy, I'm gonna stop drinking. And then they were literally like, nope, you're too fat, sorry. And then like gone, like, and I, I was 18 years old and I was like, what am I gonna do with my life? I already missed a year, I dropped out of college. I dropped out of community college, lost my scholarship. I was having boy problems. I just wanted someone to love me. And then I was struggling with my friend group. Literally, I ruined pretty much every friendship I could by drinking alcohol. Thank my friends, if you guys are watching this, that still talk to me. <laughs> Thank you for still talking to me because I was a legit crazy person. Two years went by from the time I got dropped to around this time, my mom was like, hey, like, do you remember Josh Herbert? Like, remember you you worked with him and my mom kept up with him on social media. I was, you know, pursuing my music career. <laughs> he was doing music and my mom was like, do you remember him? I'm like, yeah, we, you know, he talks to me here and there. We'll talk on social media. We had, we had some similar friends. She was like, just reach out to him. Like, see what he's up to. So our first couple times hanging out, I was still drinking like crazy. And I don't know how you still let me hang out with you because I was nuts. Um, but anyway, we got through it. And then we started growing and getting really serious. And there was just one night where I got really drunk and was really mean and crazy. And he sat me down and was like, this isn't gonna work. This relationship will not work. I can't watch you do this to yourself and I can't put myself through this. And- Yeah, it was just kinda, I, I left the ball. I left the ball in Abby's court. Yeah. Like it got to a point where the Abby that I loved, like this was a different during the day yeah this was, was like a completely different person it wasn't her and um that was just like the last straw and i said you need to make a change if you want to be with me like you got to stop this lifestyle and uh like the very next day she completely cut out yeah. alcohol i immediately lost all that water weight from the alcohol because it was just pretty much that was the weight that i gained was just puffiness and stuff from the alcohol and then immediately everything started falling into place. I then got signed with Next Model Management. I then got signed with Wilhelmina LA. I was working full time here in Pittsburgh. And you were traveling like weekly. I was traveling yeah. like I got super healthy. But then that's where my addiction, addictive personality, it I went think, to the extreme. Went to the extreme. Yeah. I was working out two to three times a day, you know, not eating, not eating. I remember I went down to Miami for swim week and I literally ate like one cliff bar a day and like maybe had like a French fry here and there. Um, but that was like me being healthy. And I, I have a picture I'll show you guys. I took a picture in the mirror and like, it looks like I'm like sucking in cause you can see every rib, but that was just me and I couldn't get, I wanted to keep getting smaller and smaller. Like how could I keep getting smaller? And I was preaching it to everyone. At the time I didn't have a big following. I had about like 8,000 followers, but all I did was talk about eating healthy, working out, putting it on to so many other people because I was internally so unhappy because I could not, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I wasn't happy with the way I looked, even though everyone would be like, Oh my God, you're so thin. You look great. Your abs. And I'm, and up to them, I'm like, oh yes, I look great. But inside I'm like, how can I get even smaller? How can, oh, my waist is a 23. Oh, that's amazing. That's great measurements. And it just got really, really toxic, toxic and bad. There was one time we went and got pizza. Do you remember the pizza place? Mm -hmm. And I made us leave because I had like a panic attack about eating pizza. Yeah, we were literally ordered pizzas and she started eating and started crying and I yeah. was like are you okay and she was like we gotta leave like, like I just can't eat this pizza I, was like, I think I it was can't. like the first time like you were like all right let's just go out and eat yeah. something because you were very regimented in what you were eating mm -hmm. and um it wasn't the healthiest like rationing what you were yeah. like what you're eating oh my so. eat my my food I would I'd eat a sweet potato and chickpeas every day that was it yeah that's and like a smoothie yeah. So it, it got to the point where then it was so unhealthy and I convinced myself that birth control was terrible for me, which we all have different opinions on birth control. So I stopped taking my birth control and that is when PCOS hit me. My polycystic ovarian syndrome, full-blown cystic acne. I wanted to heal myself naturally and I went vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free. I wouldn't even chew gum. I was that 
obsessed with healing myself naturally that I went to the point where I wouldn't even chew gum because it had sugar in it. Um, I was don't even think I was eating at one point because I was so up. I was so worried that was like every, everything. everything was breaking me out. I then got into remember the body rashes. Mm -hmm. It was a mess. So I got down to, I'm 5'9". I got down to like 108 pounds and it was not good. And I think too, um, you whenever you did have the breakout on your skin, you had like a test shoot or you had to do, or you had um, to do digitals or something. And they were like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like we can't take these today. And yeah. I think that really like. Oh, I had a makeup artist. I just talk, like literally I was in the chair, imagine full-blown cystic acne. I already knew it was on my face. I was so insecure and so unhappy. And the makeup artist was just like, yeah, I can't fix this. Like your skin is so bad. And it like, I remember coming home, cry, like being so emotional, crying and just, I'll never forget this makeup artist. I'll never forget you saying that to me. Um, <laughs> do you want to give her name? <laughs> no, <laughs> not going to rat you out. But it, you, you just can't comment on things like that when people are going through it. And she's like, this isn't my best work. Her skin is so bad. And, oh, I'll never forget that. I think I talked to my doctor and she was just like, go back to your normal lifestyle before all this. So I finally slowly got back on birth control. I got out of medicine for my skin. And I just started eating like I was before. And everything just started working back out for me. I started gaining my weight back. You're happier, your mood I was better. so happier, my skin was clearing up. And I think too, you started exercising like, just for fun, like it yes. wasn't like, oh, I need to exercise. No. You did it because you felt better after it. It wasn't like this like, no crazy thing that you felt obsessed about. It was like, no. hey, let's go for a walk around yes. the lake or let's yes. go to this gym class. Like we were doing some classes together. We, well, and... I got into like a CrossFit style class that I enjoyed. I was in the instructors. I loved them. They were encouraged me. Like I was like, so used to lifting like two pounds, two pounds of weight. Cause I didn't want muscle. When modeling, I didn't want muscle. I wanted to be lean and thin. And they're like, pick up this, those 30 pound weights. I'm like over here struggling. But like, it made me stronger and better in everything around. It wasn't to get thinner, it was to get stronger. I really love my body right now. I love how, how big she is. I have a stretch mark and it's the cutest when, thing ever. And not to make matters worse, but the other day, Abby was like sitting there. I was like, like, what happened? You, you have a bruise on your leg. What happened? And she was like, it's a stretch mark. And I was like, oh, I'm like, it's oh. a stretch mark. But you were so sweet. You're like, look, I got some yeah, too. Yeah, I got some too. I got some stretch and marks. And I'm like, it's oh, okay. I'm like, I love this. I love this little stretch mark. I'm, I'm mentally and physically happy now that I could do that. I was so worried in the beginning, like, oh my God, am I going to fall back into that? I need to work out. I can't get big. I can't yeah. get health or I have to stay healthy. And this, I was like, peace out healthiness. <laughs> I'm enjoying my new life and my new body. And I think that's how everyone should take on life. Not e even if you're not pregnant, like just live your life. Don't worry about what this influencer is eating or what this person's doing or what I eat in a day and work out. It is good to be inspired by people. Totally, but I totally. Go, but don't yeah. follow that. Like, will I want to work out again when I'm done being pregnant? I don't know. I don't care if I do. The bounce back culture, I feel like for moms, new moms, um, because everyone's already like, oh, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll bounce right back. I'm like, what do you mean? I, I'm fine if I look like this for a while or forever. I don't care. Like, why is bouncing back a thing? This is great. It's amazing. I've never but had if this I may, body before. If I may say, um, you are glowing. <laughs> oh, I think thank you. you. Look, uh, radiant, um, beautiful every morning you thank wake you. up. Thank you. Thank you. Then I learned my lesson of loving my body and not taking my body for granted. If I'm an extra small, if I'm an extra large, it's still my body. Um, as long as I'm mentally healthy and happy with That's myself, the most important thing. that is the most important thing. So yeah, that is my story that I've shared on TikTok and my platforms, my struggles with alcohol, my struggles with body image and um, struggling with this bounce back culture and just putting myself on social media. And I'm sorry for the people that followed me a couple years ago where I was preaching this healthy lifestyle when I was not a healthy person. Um, now I'm gonna make that change to hopefully do better and be more open and vocal about um, body image and
what I went through. And I just hope this video helped one person. Um, yeah, that is my story. And there's still so much to it. That was a good preview. Um, good start. And a good start. I will be as vocal and honest as I can always. And yeah, I hope you guys took something from this video and I hope it helped just one person. And as always guys, the Herberts are here for everyone. Yes, we are. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.